Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn that how we can use Chat GPT four to read a research article. As we already know that Chat GPT three doesn't provide any option to upload a research paper on the website, but in Chat GPT four we have a option to upload a research article and we can chat with our research paper. And you know, this whole thing is totally free. So. Before moving to the to the video, if you have not subscribed our channel yet, please do not forget to subscribe this channel so you can get this kind of videos on daily basis. So let's start the process. First of all, you have to download the Microsoft Edge into your laptop or desktop. After downloading this Microsoft Edge browser into your laptop or desktop, or if you have already an installed version of Microsoft Edge in your laptop or desktop. So there is no need to download it. And you have to simply click on the option of Microsoft Edge. The previous name of this browser was Internet Explorer. The second thing is that you have to log in into your personal account as I already have a login, in, uh, login into my personal account. But if you have not logged in into your account, please do not forget to log in into your personal account so that you can use this whole browser perfectly. So the third step is that you will find out a option of Copilot here. You have to click on this option and you will see this window where you have to click on the chat option. If there is an option of compose or insights, but you have to by default select this option chat. And the next thing is that you have to drag the research app research article research paper from the desktop or from c drive or any other drive where you have downloaded the article i'm going to drag this article to the microsoft edge and here i'm going to keep this article so what's the next thing i have to do to read this article i have to give a command to chat gpt4 or co-pilot of microsoft edge this copilot has built in chat GPT-4 option and it's totally free. So what I have to do, I am going to click on the new topic option. If you are already in a, some kind of conversation, you can click on the new topic option. And here I will have to give the command like read the PDF file opened in sidebar. After giving this command, I'm going to click on the enter option and hitting the enter button. It will take some time. And I'm going to click on stop reading. Here, I'm going to give the command again, read the PDF file. Sometime it can happen that it doesn't provide you the summary, but you have to the use it again. If you get the option of let not save the conversation, it means that the browser is going to read the research article. I'm going to click on this one. And uh, I guess there is a mistake in the read word. So I'm going to correct this one. Read the PDF file or PDF article. opened in sidebar. If you find this kind of difficulty, you can start a new topic. Sometime it happened that it doesn't read the research article. Okay. So it's has started reading the article and uh, now it's reading and it will give you all the summary of the whole article. This is a summary of the article, but you haven't asked anything from your side. If you have some kind of special question or specific question related to the article, you can ask here like, what was the method of this article? So now you can ask, as the chat GPT-4 has read the article, so there is no need to type 
read the PDF file again and again. You can simply ask the direct question and it will give you the relevant answer related to the article that you have opened in the sidebar. So you can ask any question. It will give you the exact line from where the information has been taken. You can get the answer from the web instead. Like you can ask other questions and like I'm going to ask what were the limitation of this paper and similarly you can ask the future perspective or the theory of the article and you can even ask the uh, chat GPT-4 to read the literature view of the paper and summarize it even if you want to like it's going to answer us like I'm going to stop this option what else chat GPT-4 can provide us if you are reading the article and in the specific portion that you find out that you cannot get cannot understand what the author is telling you you can select that portion of the article like I have selected this one and you just simply have to click the copy option or if you simply select the highlight the certain portion of the article it will automatically appear on the right side so I'm going to simply click on the send option when you will send it it will ask you three or four things explain revise summarize or expand if you are reading an article and you can, cannot understand what's, what's written in the tables or in the dessert section or method section, you can simply highlight that section. It will automatically ask you, what do you want to do with the text? You can ask uh, the chat GPT-4 or co-pilot of uh, Microsoft Edge to explain it. It will explain it. If, if you will ask the chat GPT-4 or co-pilot to summarize it, are you ask it to make a uh, convert that this whole paragraph into the slides it will automatically convert the whole paragraphs or the information into certain kind of slides and you can ask the other questions like explain this uh, whole phenomena with a certain example you can ask copilot to draw a picture about this whole phenomena so it will perform all of these activities freely you can ask as many questions as you want to there is no limitation right now on this option you can read as many as article if you want to if you want to add another article you have to close this one and you have to click on the new tab and you have to, to close this tab and similarly you have to click on the new to topic option if you want to read another article it doesn't provide you summary while previous or article already opened in the sidebar so you have to close the previous article to start a new conversation with a new article i hope you have liked this video do not forget to subscribe this channel to share this video thank you for watching bye